I'm going to start this engine up, so that means it might involve putting the camera down and things uh, for a specific reason. Because I've actually got a meter hooked up to the generator, and obviously I've got the generator on. Right. And so I'm trying to detect what sort of voltage we're going to get on the output. And I did this in a previous run, and I got about 20 volts, which, isn't, which is a bit disappointing actually, but here we go. Oops. So we got some voltage there, I think it, it peaked at about 30, which is quite disappointing because I was expecting it to be a much more. I'm guessing we're doing probably something like a 1000 RPM, maybe a bit more, I don't know. It's not much more than an idle. Um, so that means that this output is only going to be somewhere in the region of 100 volts. Um, yeah, it is. now. What I'm wondering is, is okay, it's 100 volts. Can we step it up? And because that's obviously going to load the current, you see. And I don't know what the original one did, but I'm thinking because we had originally, where is it? It's in there somewhere. I think it's that. Basically, it was a, a gearbox which gave it. I, as far as I can tell from the internet, we got about a three to one ratio. On the uh, on this engine, I'm getting a headache with all the fumes. Um, so we got a three to one on the engine, which means that it would have spun that up three times as fast, which means I would have probably seen about sixty volts instead of twenty. And when it span up, it would have gone up to ninety volts. The problem is, is the battery is a, you know nearly three hundred volts. So I'm wondering where the three hundred volts come from. So either this generator is actually designed for low, low-ish voltage, right, and they step it up to charge the battery, or I'm needing to gear this up a lot, you see, in order to make it so that it's useful. Now, it's not that it isn't useful, because I'm getting 20 volts, and that's on one phase, so we've got three lots of 20 volts AC, right, and obviously, if you rectify all those three and then connect them in series, you've got 60 volts, you see. And obviously, when it spins up, that's 90. And probably if I, if I took it up to, like, 3,000 RPM, we're talking about 180 volts. I don't know what current we'll get out of it, but it won't be rubbish. And it's obviously supplying power, <laughs> you see. Uh, I'm just wondering what I've got that would work on that sort of voltage. Obviously 12 volt stuff, but what about 24? It's a pity the motor isn't working the... Uh... Anyway, it's AC, so we can't. I was thinking about a light bulb. Because uh, we've got... Actually, this works on 110 volts. So we should get something out of that if it does work, but I don't know if I want to yet. And we can always put that in reverse. Because <laughs> that's a 2 to 1 transformer, you see. And uh, so if you use a 2 to 1 transformer, then 20 volts on that comes out the other side at 40 volts. Yeah, because it will double it. Anyway, so a little bit disappointing because it's not got the voltage I thought it had. Right, and obviously we're not loading it yet. Um, so I don't know what would happen if we did load it. Um, but it's there. Mechanically, obviously, there's a bit of vibration going on. And I think... Uh, if it was fastened, because I held it tight when I was doing it uh, last time, and the problem is, of course, is this engine is dancing around, it's not held at all, and so that's the reason why the yellow strap's around it, to make sure the generator stays on it, because it kept walking away from it, and losing the connection. Basically, it does, it does work and it does generate electricity, it's just that I think the amount of electricity it's generating isn't what I wanted. But we'll see. I don't know. I mean, obviously, you can step the voltages up if you need to. But then you need to deal with the uh, yeah, the output side, don't you? I don't know. Because it's three-phase, if you were to have it through a, a three-phase diode pack, um, 
I believe the magnification is 1.732. Yeah, so uh, one and three quarters. So that means that we, if we were getting 20 volts on the idle, I don't know how, how low an idle it was. Idles are usually 800 RPM, right? And I wouldn't have said it was much more than that. Even if it's, say, 1,000 RPM, just to uh, guess on the outside, <laughs> right? And it's running at, say, 20, 20 volts at 1,000 RPM. That means if you take the engine up to its full RPM, which I think is it's going to be somewhere between five and 6,000 RPM, Right, that'll give you 100 volts on each phase, right? 1.732 means that you'll get 173 volts. So it's not shy, and this is the open circuit voltage. That's the only thing that's worrying me, is this is the open circuit voltage. If you actually put a, a load on it, then I don't know what the voltage would drop to, you see. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, uh, what are we going to say? We're going to say we've probably got a 100 volt generator, a 100 volt DC. Would that power a car? Well, I don't know. I mean, it depends. It depends on the amount of current rating. The current rating of the motor is pretty big. You know, if you've seen the connectors on it, they're pretty thick. They're 100 amp easy, right? Um, so if we add uh, 100 volts at 100 amps, what is that? That's 10 kilowatts, isn't it? That is 10 kilowatts. So we could actually drive a car on this if the engine was on, uh, if it was doing, uh, if say say on the engine load, if it was doing it, uh, yes, then this would. But the engine would be at full RPM, well, high RPMs to do it. Not that that's a problem. The engine can rev up. Um, and it might actually be more efficient at higher revs. Who knows? I don't know. So, the top and bottom of it is, is that it does appear to work. The power is probably going to be enough to make it so that we can drive around town or charge a battery pack uh, whilst we're driving along. So we can use it, right? So, the bottom line is, is that if we finish off the mechanics of it, we may well have a trailer generator. At some point, maybe, I can gear it up. I don't know, but not today. No, we might have to think of something to gear it up. Epicyclic gearbox type things. I don't know. But I don't know what the RPM of the generator actually is. You see, the max RPM. Yeah. Anyway, so, to conclude, we have a, tra we have a generator set, and it does work. It does generate electricity. And once we um, fix up the engine properly, uh, and the chassis that it's going to go on, which is uh, constructed out of box section. Yes, and it's obviously capable of being put on a trailer. It's not too big, and uh, it should manage to. Um, it should be okay driving it as well because we managed to get everything true enough for it to work. Yes, so this could be quite interesting. Not finished, but interesting. It's now six o'clock, so I'm going. Bye bye.